Now, if you remember, at your booking appointment, there would have been some blood taking to confirm different components of your blood. One of them is the blood group. It's the A, B, O and rhesus positive or rhesus negative status. You know how sometimes you're watching Casualty or Grey's Anatomy and they're like, I need two units of O neg. And I need four units of B neg. O neg is a blood group and rhesus status. Now, rhesus positive and rhesus negative bloods, they don't get on very well. In fact, they often cause problems when they mix. If you have rhesus negative blood, so A neg, B neg, O neg or AB neg, you may be offered something called an anti-D injection. This is because if your baby's blood group is positive, so A pos, B pos, O pos or AB pos, your body may see your baby's positive blood cells as a threat and may later down the line start attacking the positive blood cells of future babies. Anti-D coats your baby's blood cells, it kind of makes them incognito so that your body doesn't start attacking your baby's blood. It's usually given to you between 24 and 28 weeks, and if your baby is rhesus positive, it will be offered to you after they're born. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that babies that are rhesus positive, born to mums that are rhesus negative, are more at risk of developing jaundice after they're born. So once your baby comes out, make sure you feed them regularly, keep them warm. And if you think that they're a little bit yellow, then you should speak to your care provider.